Diane and Denmark here. <laughs> la, la, la. I have got my pom poms with me today. Now, it's Thursday, which is Little Friday, and it's the last day of May, which means that tomorrow in the Fly Lady system, we'll be moving on to a new zone uh, for zone cleaning and decluttering. Now, we're not officially there yet, but that's the great thing about the Fly Lady system. Just, just do it on, on the days that it suits you. You saw me in zone five, the living room, on Monday. And I was also in there on, uh, yesterday. But I'm going to do a um, quick declutter here today. I've got my timer, got it ready to go 10 minutes. I may also be able to get a bit of cleaning done. If I don't, hey-ho, um, I'll, I'll get it done some other time. Uh, and I just have to share a little funny story with you. Now, you know, I, you know my, I, I'm very consistent or obstinate with my routines and... And normally, you know, I, I get up early in the morning and I'm kind of dressed to shoes. And uh, today I've got my, oh, there we are, uh, some, some old uh, sandals, uh, elasticated sandals that are kind of past their best. But I, I clean them up so when it's weather like this, I'm kind of ready to go and can work. So anyway, I've, I've got my outfit ready for today. And I thought last night, well, I'll set the alarm clock just a wee bit later than usual because... Uh, both kids are starting late today. Uh, my daughter's actually off today and uh, my son is starting late at uh, high school. And wouldn't you, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, you know, I'm lying there in bed thinking, okay, I can't really sleep any longer anyway. You know, that's one of these things when you get older, you wake up uh, whether you want to or not. You've got that in internal alarm clock. And I thought, okay, I'll get up now. And then the doorbell rang and I thought, <gasps> And I was in my nightie, so there I go downstairs, and it was the men outside uh, asking if they could remove their, there's like huge um, metal plates uh, in front of our garage at the moment and on the uh, pavement because they're, they're redoing the pavement after all the digging work for the new pipes. And I thought, isn't it typical, like 365 days of the year, I'm kind of dressed to shoes and ready for any emergency and today was the day I thought okay I'll have an extra half an hour, hour in bed and the doorbell rings. Anyway I'm dressed to shoes now ready to go I'm going to set the timer uh, and I'm going to start with a bit of decluttering. I've got my um I've got some bags in my little uh, cleaning caddy we'll, we'll see what we find. You've seen me decluttering in here before and remember if, if you're uh, wanting to do some cleaning I've got a whole playlist I'll, I'll put up there that's called Fly Lady Zone and you'll see me decluttering or cleaning in the area. So even if you're not working in this room, you can work in something else. But the main thing is that you work along with me. Don't sit there on your on your bahuki, you know, get up and do something. That's why I'm making these in real time to show you the power of uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Anyway, uh, I'll set the timer. I'm going to start, um, I'll just start over, over there in the cabinet and work around. Okay, so let me just move you over. 10 minutes on the clock, let's get started. I'm going to start here, and this was the cabinet that my dearly departed Danish uh, father-in-law made for us, um, and he had severe arthritis, so I don't know if I can get you any lower, but anyway, I'll, I'll talk you through what's in the wee drawer here. Right, first up is oh, a couple of games, you know, games that you play at the dinner table. I've got one in... Oh, they're both actually in Danish. And you know what? We got them years ago. And I think we've played them once. And I think it's time to let it go. So those are going to be giveaway items. Uh, I'll take those to the um, Danish charity shop. So hold on, let me just get my bag ready. Get my bag. Uh, and that's the thing, that's why it's good to declutter on a regular basis and keep going round in the zones because... You know, your tastes change or the kids grow up uh, or, or, you know, it gets easier and easier to let go of things, especially if it's sentimental stuff. Right, now this, this isn't sentimental. These are some coasters that I never really liked. And I threw away coasters recently, but also my husband got some for Christmas. So I think it's time to let these, I mean, how many coasters do you need really? Right, so those are also going to give, be a giveaway, and I think I've got one of those somewhere else. If I can find the last one, I'll put it in the box, otherwise it doesn't matter. That, that's also going to the charity shop. Right, a wee bookie here, a little book, uh, and this is actually about the artist um, 
who did the painting that you see at the other end of uh, our dining room, which was a gift to my husband and I from my boss, Sir David, uh, when we got married. Um, it's a, a beautiful painting. Uh, anyway, so I'm, so I'm keeping that, and that's all about the artist. And then in here, I've got the instructions for the, uh, what do you call it? Um, metronome for the piano. And I've got the piano stuff next door, and the metronome is through there. So I'm just going to check with the kids do actually need to keep the instructions or. So that's a um, think about. Um, and then I have also the receipt for the piano and the key for the piano. So I'll keep that all together next door. And then also in here, because the piano used to be in here, that's why some of the piano. Right. Gosh. Okay, I do not need to keep this. This is when, okay, I want you the name in front of it, but this is when my, my son used to go to piano lessons and, you know, he would get a sticker from the teacher who used to go to Suzuki piano lessons. And I can see there's also my notes of what he had to practice and also that there's a bit back where he's been waiting to get his lesson and he was like really small at the time and he's got funny little drawings. Anyway, we'll have a wee look through that tonight and then that can go in, uh, in paper recycling. Right, and this is, oh yeah. Now this is also something to do with, oh, it's um, the thing that goes along with the Suzuki book. I'll check with the, the kids if they need that, but I, I suspect that's gonna be a giveaway. So it's another thing to check. Gosh, weird stuff I'm finding here today. Uh, and the last things in here are um, the information about the uh, glasses that we have, the crystal glasses that you'll see in a wee moment, just the names of those. I'll keep that. Um, more about that. Oh, and the last thing in here, uh, oh yeah, and also the name Oh no, I don't need that. That's been around a little snaps um, glass bottle. That's, goodness knows I've been keeping that. Anyway, out with it now. No time like the present. Okay, and the last thing, this is quite funny. Uh, my husband and I, we met each other working at the Court of Justice in Luxembourg. And the first restaurant he took me to is this very nice place in a place called Montenach. And Montenach is... Um, like when you're living in Luxembourg, you drive through uh, Schengen, you know the Schengen Agreement, you drive through Schengen into Germany and then back and then into France and, and that was, you know, it took us about 40 minutes in the car so when we were going out for dinner in Luxembourg, we would drive from Luxembourg through Germany into France and then had our dinner in France and then back through Germany and then home to Luxembourg. You know, that's, the, that, that's what I love about Europe. Anyway, uh, and we used to go there all the time and we took all our visitors there. It's a fantastic restaurant, or was it? I, I don't know what it's like now. Uh, and when we left, because the owners knew we were leaving, uh, we, we got to keep a copy of the menu and there it is in English. So that was a kind of, uh, that's one of these sentimental things. And from time to time we take it out and say to the kids, oh yeah, because you could have uh, duck, it was a menu of duck in like seven different ways. Anyway, I'm keeping that. So those are all keepers. Sorry, I'm talking to you this morning. You know what it's like when you get down memory lane. Okay, so those are keepers. And I've got some things to give away and some things to ask the kids. So that's that. And look, not much left in this drawer. Ooh, for me. Uh, and I've got the glasses here. Those are staying. Those are the ones that I use as water glasses. Maybe at Christmas or any kind of Danish celebration because they're red. Uh, all the crystal glasses that we got, um, you know, uh, for wedding gifts all those years ago. Gosh, how many? We've been married like 20, 20 years. And also our uh, Danish glasses. Danish ones. So all those are keepers. And down in the bottom here, uh, this is where I keep show you. Uh, this is where I keep all different vases. And there's nothing here that needs to go out. I like my vases. Uh, and you maybe saw this last time I was decluttering this area. My, my son, he must have done this when he was about 
I don't know, 10 years old, a top secret thing says, do not look, and then stop, look, I keep that in there, it's quite fun to find it. So I just put that in the back. Right, okay, that's that one. And then uh, let's move around to the next thing. Let me just move you. Right, I'm moving on to what we call the sideboard. Um, don't know what you call it in, in the States. Uh, I'm not expecting to find much here, but who knows, once he did a reset. Oh, let me just get the time we're going again. Right, um, okay, this one. Uh, I've decluttered this last time during the zone, I think, and there's nothing here that needs to go. This is where I keep all, you know, wine, accessories, um, and things for opening wine bottles and beer bottles. Uh, and I also keep in here the extra attachments for the vacuum cleaner because this is the vacuum cleaner lives next to the place where you've just seen me decluttering. So nothing in here to go. You, you, you can see some of the weird things that are in that, but that is for when my son plays, you know, beer pong when you know when they have parties here. So. I had kept them out in the garden shed, but then it was like, oh, mum, where's all the ping pong bottles? So those stay in with the wine and beer accessories. Right, so actually, there's nothing in there. No. Yay, go me. Okay, and the next one. Uh, next one, I've got pictures uh, of the family. And when, you know, I, I said about it, I like to swap things around. So I kind of swap them out and then put the other ones in here for a while and then bring them out again when, when I need a wee freshen up. And otherwise in here I've got, um, you know, placemats that we're usually using here. So those can stay. Nothing else in there. Go me. And the last thing here are the chess pieces. The chess set gets to stay there. And these are things, um, you know, big bread baskets that don't fit in any of my drawers in next door in the kitchen. You know, I've got limited kitchen space. I don't have any overhead cupboards or, um, you know, cup cupboards or cabinets, whatever you call them. And uh, I like to keep them here because it's easy, you know, if we're entertaining that we've got stuff. Right. Oh, I don't know what... I'm just standing looking at this because I think actually the artist William Burney who did the picture is the same one. I also got these from my boss uh, Sir David along with the jugs uh, which are next door on top of the piano. And, and I use these, you know, for presenting stuff. So anyway, that's all okay. Nothing in there. And down below I've got, you know, our good uh, dinner service. And that is all accounted for, that's easy enough. And then here I've got more, you know, the uh, cups that go with dinner service. And I've got various snaps, uh, you know, alcohol. But I can see, you know what I'm going to get rid of? I've got this old thermos. And I've got a really nice silver one, oh, hold on, that you have seen probably in the kitchen. If you see my pictures on Instagram, when I do my shiny sink picture every day, You'll see, and, and you know what, we've had this for years, and I can't get the top clean anymore, it's just impossible. So that is going to be, that's going out in recycling, if I can find something suitable of recycling wise. And you know what, the other thing is, this, this coffee machine, now this is something, this is one of these things, you know, you buy one of these machines and we never use it. I mean, we stopped using it a couple of years ago and I've held on to it. And you know what? Today is the day that I'm going to get rid of it. You know, life is too short to have these coffee machines that I never use because I actually prefer just kind of good Italian coffee. And I've got my little um, stove top one that I use if I want a really strong espresso and otherwise we use our uh, you know percolator thing. So this one is going to go finally uh, and I might see if somebody in the ladies uh, you know in the clothes swap group wants it because it's got a British plug on it so you really need the British adapter. Anyway so that's a, that's a giveaway. Now let's move on to the 
So when we look at the back, we go and then no. Otherwise, in here, I just have um, extra water jugs. I'll keep those. And I'll add one in there because I don't want to go over time. Yeah, I don't want to go over time. Um, the last thing in this cupboard is also um, things for, you know, entertaining and the ubiquitous uh, crystal bowl that you get when you get married in Scotland. I I've told you about this before. I think I've got... We got about five of them when we got married, like 20 years ago. And I've kept two of them because I quite like them for making my Lisa Lamond, the Danish Christmas dessert. I've got, a, there's a link up there with recipes and crafts. Uh, and I, all the other ones I gave away uh, to a friend who, because I'm not into these, this type of crystal, it's not my thing, but it is a sentimental thing. I keep two because I do use them for that or doing an overnight salad. So those can be kept. And, oh, here we go. Right, here we are. Here are some leftover coffee pods for this machine, which we never use. And let's have a look. Right, expiry date. So even, even if you can, you know, you can probably keep these longer than expiry date. I think it's, I think it shows you the last time that we used that machine. So out it goes. So look, they are all of you who think that um, my house is a wee bit too perfect. And, you know, I have clutter and I have things that have expired. It was quite funny. I'll just finish off by saying, um, it's quite funny the other day because I'm in the, um, the Swedish... Uh, fly lady group and um, somebody had mentioned my videos and said yeah she liked them but you know they were a bit too perfect Her, you know my house was a bit too perfect and I said it was really funny because I don't think my house is perfect you know I've still got dust in the corners and things that I need to give away throw away expired food but it just shows you we're, we're all at different levels so you know just the, the main thing that I say to you before, you know, I can't win with these things because some people think my house is too perfect, other people think my house isn't perfect enough and I'm not all kind of, you know, fancy boxes inside my cabinets and it's all kind of labelled and, I, you know, I, I just do what works for me and the main thing is that you work along with me and, you know, we can all make some progress here, that's the only thing. Anyway, I'm going to keep it to the 15 minutes. Um, it was meant to be 15 minutes. I know I've gone on a bit longer. But anyway, I shall um, see you very soon. And uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge and warmth be with you. You can see here where I've still got sweltering heat here. I've, I've actually got a yellow card to wear today, but I don't think I want to be wearing it. Anyway, I shall um, see you tomorrow for Big Friday. So anyway, happy little, happy, uh, little Friday and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.